Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Programming video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand operators in C Sharp. We understood arithmetic operators, logical operators, relational operators, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators, conditional operator. In the next video tutorial, we are going to understand bitwise operators. Before we proceed and understand bitwise operators, First, we need to understand decimal and binary number system, guys. In decimal number system, we have 10 digits. Deci means 10, guys. Whereas in binary number system, we have 2 digits. Bi means 2. In decimal number system, we have 10 digits. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whereas in binary number system, we have only 2 digits. They are 0 and 1. In decimal number system, to represent any number, we take help of these digits. For example, to represent 65, in the first place we write 5, in the 10th place we write 6 guys. To represent 128, in the first place we write 8, in the 10th place we write 2, in the 100th place we write 1 guys. In binary number system, to represent any number, we write sequence of zeros and ones guys. This sequence of zeros and ones indicates 65 in binary number system. This sequence of zeros and ones indicates 15 in binary number system, guys. If I ask you, tell me what this sequence of zeros and ones indicates. Of course, it is difficult to say, right? Because we don't know binary number system. So we have to understand how to convert a decimal number to binary equivalent number, how to convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number guys. So let's understand step by step. First we understand how to convert a decimal number to binary equivalent number. Let's take an example of 65. Here I write 65. To convert this decimal number to binary equivalent number, I divide this number by 2. 2 into 32 is 64. Remainder is 1. We write the remainder in front guys. 2 into 16 is 32. Remainder is 0. 2 into 8 is 16. Remainder 0. 2 into 4 is 8. Remainder 0. 2 into 2 is 4. Remainder 0. 2 into 1 is 2. Remainder 0 guys. Once we get either 1 or 0 at the end, we stop further division guys. And then we write down these digits from top to down, from right to left. So, we have 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros and then 1. So, this sequence of zeros and 1s indicates 65 in binary number system. If the computer is a 8-bit computer, then we add one extra zero here to make it one byte. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits here. You can see that, right? So that's what I have written here. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros and then 1. So that's the reason I told that this sequence of zeros and 1s indicate 65 bytes. And remember that zeros before the leftmost one you can discard okay there is no importance of zeros before the leftmost one guys let's take another example 15 so i told that this sequence of zeros and ones uh, indicates 15 right let me prove that if i say 15 let's divide it by 2 2 into 7 is 14 remainder is 1 2 into 3 is 6 remainder 1 2 into 1 is 2, remainder 1. And then we write these digits, 1, 1, 1, 1. If the computer is a 8-bit com computer, then we add 4 zeros. So this sequence of zeros and 1s indicates 15 in binary number system. Right? So that is how we convert, that is how we convert a decimal number to binary equivalent number, guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you to try converting 35 to binary equivalent number, convert 40 to binary equivalent number, etc. Guys. 
We have successfully understood how to convert a decimal number to binary equivalent number. Now let's understand how to convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number. Let's take this example itself. Let's come here. I write here 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros and 1. To convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number, we start with the rightmost digit 1 multiply it by 2 raised to the power of 0. We start with 2 to the power 0 guys. Plus take the next number 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 4 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 5 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 6. Leftmost 0 as I told you can discard zeros before the leftmost one you can discard as i told zeros before the leftmost one you can discard okay they have no importance now let's evaluate this expression 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 6 you can see 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64 so 64 plus 0 multiplied by anything is 0 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 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0. Anything is raised to the power of 0 is 1 guys. So 64 into 1 is 64. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it goes to 0 plus 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. 64 plus 0 is 64. 64 plus 1 is 65 guys. So that is how we convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number guys right let's take another example here i say 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 right i told this number indicates 15 let's prove that so as i told zeros before the leftmost one you can discard so leave this thing let's start to convert we write 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 3. 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 is 8 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 is 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 0 is 1. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15. So, this sequence of zeros and 1 indicates 15 guys. So, that is how we convert, that is how we convert, that is a process of converting a binary number to decimal equivalent number guys. We have other ways also, okay. We have one more way to convert a decimal number to binary equivalent number and a binary number to decimal equivalent number. For that, we need to remember 2 to the power series guys, you need to remember 2 to the power series. You can see I have written here 2 raised to the power of 0, 2 raised to the power of 1, 2 raised to the power of 2, 2 raised to the power of 3 and so on up to 2 raised to the power of 7. I have written up to 2 raised to the power of 7 because I have the maximum number here to convert is 128 and 2 raised to the power of 7 is 128 guys. So I stopped writing the 2 to the power series at 2 raised to the power of 7. If you have the higher number more than 128 maybe you need to continue this series like you can write 2 raised to the power of 8, 2 raised to the power of 9 that depends upon the number you have uh, for conversion ok so 2 raised to the power of 0 is 1, 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2, 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4 and so on 2 raised to the power of 7 is 128 you can see we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 128 here I have the example numbers to convert ok so let's convert 65 to binary equivalent number. So what we do, we find the numbers. On adding them, we get 65 guys. Here, if we add 64 and 1, we get 65. So what we do, underneath 64, we write 1. Underneath 1, we write 1. Remaining places, we put zeros. So this sequence of zeros and 1s, that is 0, you have written here 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros and 1. So that indicates the binary equivalent for 65 guys. Easy right?
just find out the number on adding them you should get your decimal number let's convert 15 to binary equivalent number on adding 8 4 2 1 we get 15 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 4 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 so underneath 8 we write 1 underneath 4 we write 1 underneath 2 we write 1 underneath 1 we write 1 remaining places we put zeros so this sequence of zeros and ones that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 indicates 15. If you want, if anybody asks you, tell me the binary equivalent of 15, you can simply say 1, 1, 1, 1, guys. Because I told you, zeros before the leftmost one uh, can be discarded. Okay? They don't have any importance. Next, let's convert 35. 32 plus 2 is 34. 34 plus 1 is 35. So, underneath 32 we write 1, underneath 2 we write 1, underneath 1 we write 1, remaining places we put zeros. So, 1, 3 zeros and 1, 1. That indicates 35. 40. 32 plus 8 is 40. So, underneath 32 we write 1, underneath 8 we write 1, remaining places we put zeros. So, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 indicates 40. For 128, underneath 128, we write 1, remaining places we put zeros. So that indicates 128, guys. So that is how you can represent any decimal number in binary, guys. All you need to do is you need to remember this 2 to the power series. So if you remember, like if I say 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on. Like this, you need to remember 2 to the power series. To represent 1, underneath 1, we write 1. That indicates 1. To represent 2, underneath 2, we write 1. Underneath 1, we write 0. So, 1, 0 indicates 2, guys. To represent 3, underneath 2, we write 1. Underneath 1, we write 1. Because 2 plus 1 is 3. That indicates 3. 1, 1 indicates 3. To represent 4, we write underneath 4, 1, remaining places, zeros. So, that indicates 4. To represent 5, underneath 4, we write 1. Underneath 1, we write 1. Remaining place, we put 0. So, 4 plus 1 is 5, right? So, 1, 0, 1 indicates 5 ways. To represent 6, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, underneath 4, we write 1. Underneath 2, we write 1. Remaining place, we put 0. So, 1, 1, 0 indicates 6. So, we can represent any decimal number in binary equivalent by remembering this 2 to the power series guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Next, we can easily convert, we can easily convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number by again remembering the 2 to the power series. You can see I have written 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 and here example binary numbers we have. All we do is we write these bits under the cells inside the cells. So you can see I have done 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now what we do, we find out the numbers above the 1. Okay. Above the 1 we have 64. Above this one we have 1. So 64 plus 1. Okay, we add those numbers, which becomes 65, and we write that. That's it. That's how we convert a binary number to decimal equivalent number. Just add the numbers above 1. So, for example, here 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. I have written 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Above this one, we have 8. Above this one, we have 4. So, 8 plus 4 is 12. Above this one, we have 2. So, 12 plus 2 is 14. Above this one, we have 1. 14 plus 1 is 15. Simple. Again, same, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, I have done. So, above this one, we have 32. Above this one, we have 2. 32 plus 2 is 34. Above this one, we have 1. 34 plus 1 is 35. So, this sequence of 0s and 1s indicates 35. Simple. If you remember 2 to the power series, then you can easily convert any binary number to decimal equivalent number, guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood how to convert a binary 
number to decimal equivalent number and decimal number to binary equivalent number if you understood whatever i told in this video you can easily understand bitwise operators guys i suggest you to watch this video again and again understand try to convert some other decimal numbers to binary equivalent numbers or some other sequence of zeros and ones to decimal number guys do some exercise for this video tutorial this much is enough guys in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about c sharp if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial